to a great uh, Big Ten college basketball game. Uh, Indiana's really good. They, they, they've got a uh, Arch got a tremendous team, and um, that was uh, kind of a tale of two halves in a lot of ways. I'm going to start this off with uh, Io DeSumo, I think, setting the tone in the first half, diving on the floor three times for a loose ball. Uh, that's Illinois basketball. Just so happens there were a lot of plays in between there, and a couple other possessions with guys on the floor. And the last play of the game happens in one of the most critical times, and Andre Spleef dives on the floor to save a ball game, to save a, uh, a possession for them, take it away. Uh, those are the little things that um, allow you to win. And uh, um, I was very, very proud of Georgie Vishanshvili tonight. The job he did in the second half on. Uh, one of the best freshmen in the country in Trace. I guess you shouldn't call him a freshman anymore. He's played enough games. He's, 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 a, he's a veteran now. Uh, but I thought it was a battle of not just two of the best freshmen in the, in the Big Ten, but uh, in all the country. And uh, um, and then I will say I'm really proud of Kofi uh, because he was not very good in the first half. Uh, we really challenged him in the second half. Uh, and then with the game in the balance, we kept going to him. And it was, it was um, it's a great feeling to know that you can get the ball to the front of the rim. And he's going to make free throws or, or we're going to score. And, and, uh, uh, and then, of course, Io uh, adds, another, adds, adds another page in the chapter of his uh, game-ending endeavors, I guess. But... Uh, uh, like any other game in this league, guys, it's it's really hard to win, and, and it's it's uh, uh, every game's going to be one or two possessions, and tonight was no different. It's a uh, very very good and well coached Indiana team. <clears throat> Jeremy, Greg, right we've seen every game in this league is, is really intense, um, but obviously they're playing for a lot. You're playing for a lot. It's March. Uh, how ready do you think you can start in March and ready to show? Yeah, that's what we've been talking about. It's March. It's March. You know, a lot of times in March you. You uh, get beat, you go home. And this is why you lift. This is why you run. This is why you sweat in July. This is uh, why you keep lifting and you keep doing the things we're doing now. And you push through it. Uh, you push through the dog days uh, so that you can get to this point. And I'm, I'm, I'm in a, I feel like we're in a really, really good place. And uh, um, I, I love the, the, the human beings in that locker room because of the character. and. and not only are we playing hard and it's intense, but we're also having fun. And that's that's a big part of this this time of year. Barry? How did uh, the adjustment of putting Georgie on uh, Jackson Davis maybe free up Kofi for help side rotations and uh, pick up those blocks on those post ups by Jackson Davis? Well, I, you know, their personnel allowed us to, to basically keep a foot in the paint. Uh, we didn't have to step too far out with Kofi. And, and uh, uh, you know, part of the reason I was upset with Kofi <coughs> in the first half was he allowed those catches. To, when he was on, and Georgie just didn't allow him. Uh, DeMonte didn't allow him, to be honest. And then when DeMonte went down with a, with a, with a sprained ankle, um, you know, he was, uh, uh, he did an unbelievable job. That was Georgie defensively last year, and uh, just didn't allow touches, and, and he's to be commended for that. Julie? Brad, I mean, it's no secret that Andres has made kind of those tough plays, those dive on the floor plays, but even back to the recruiting process, I guess, when you were looking at him initially, what, what did you see out of him to know that, you know, that would be Winner, like? winner, two-time state champion in junior college, high school state champion, national junior college champion, winner, winner. And you, you find a guy who, who's done it on a, on, a, on a worldwide stage with uh, being part of his Dominican team. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he was mature beyond his years, so uh, he plays that way. And uh, was, was, you know, those are the things that become – you can always replace points. You can always replace rebounds. Uh, those are the intangible things, and those are the character things that become really hard to replace. And you know, he's a senior, and uh, you expect those things from seniors. But boy, he's he's outstanding. Back here, right? You talk a lot about when you got here, building your culture, and now you've mentioned it today. You have guys diving on the floor all game. 
Can you just talk a little bit about how that's developed and what this team's mindset is right now? Yeah, it's experience, it's, it's, it's leadership, it's veterans, it's, it's guys understanding what it takes to win. I, I don't care. They can, they can turn on a TV at any point and watch any successful team, NBA or college, and find guys that dive on the floor and guys that take charges. And, and uh, you know, and, and I'm, the maturation for Iowa doing those things is, is, is huge. Uh, but those are, the, those are the important things. We keep emphasizing them. You can practice them. You can do whatever, but until you actually do it and see the results, sometimes it, it it's uh, it can be a little bit. Uh, yeah, coach is just full of it, but but it it truly does win, and, and then never more evidence than some of the plays Dre's making this year in now Iowa. Good to your luck. Yes, coach, you talked about the matchup of uh, Trey Jackson Davis and Kofi Cocker being two of the best freshmen in the country. Yes, from the sidelines, how did you see that matchup play out? Uh, Trace won the first half, was pretty doggone good, and, and uh, uh, you know, I thought Kofi balanced that out in the second half, and, and uh, uh, again, it's not, it's never a team effort, or a, an individual effort, it's never that one-on-one -on -one balance, but, uh, you know, Trace has got great length, he's got unbelievable anticipation, I enjoy watching him play, especially on the glass, because he's, he's got a, He's got an innate ability to, to find the ball, and uh, we didn't hit it. I mean, we had four offensive rebounds, and you know our first our first shot defense was pretty good. And he gets four rebounds and keeps possessions alive, in which they score. And I was disappointed because we were down eight at half on the glass. Brad, back here. On uh, last thirty seconds, you ran one uh, inbounds play on the inline where you got the ball to Monte, and then he missed the free throw. Next time you did it to Io. Um, was the play designed to maybe get it to Trenner Io, but it just Demonte was the one that was open on that play. Io was taking the ball out, and and obviously, obviously you like those situations because Io is your best passer, and you you also know he's he's going to get open. Um, and uh, actually, I think Dre came open uh, and threw it to Demonte. And I, I again, I got all the confidence in the world. Demonte's in that situation again; he'll make it. The next possession, there wasn't going to be any question who we were getting the ball to. And, uh, you know, we just ran a sideline line play that we, we practiced a bunch, and I just broke and was able to kill three or four seconds as well. Kendrick. Coach, three years ago, you sat up here and you talked to us about your culture, picking back off it a little bit, and now you're in year three. What is the culture that you're looking for? Is this Brad Underwood basketball? Is this what you're talking about when you told us three years ago? Darn close. Darn close. I, you know, I think we're... Uh, here, here's what you guys meant in all that. I mean, we can talk about the hustle plays and we can talk about the defense and the numbers and all that, but it's the, it's the locker room it, and it's the guys in the locker room and, and that, that has to jive with the guys on our coaching staff because if your locker room is never right, I don't care, you're not going to win. I don't care how talented you are, you're going to lose. So it, it goes beyond that. I mean, when I, when I when I talk about character, I, that means a lot to me. And, and I mean, we've got guys working their tail off. Georgie Bishanish Philly. We all know Georgie had, had been struggling. And yet, if you want to watch our bench, and when I watch film, I pay more attention to him than I do the game sometimes. That young man is standing up cheering. He's never put his dauber down. He's been in the gym by 8 o'clock every morning working. And that's, that's your locker room. That's your character. That allows you to build the culture that Io DeSumo gets on the floor, that Georgie doesn't allow a catch, that Dre gets on the floor. And and that's what we're continuing to strive for here. The other stuff is, yes, it's we're, we're hustle plays, rebounds, block shots, good offense. That's the the visual stuff, but you don't do that without the locker room first. Here to Dre. Grant, you talked a lot about what Kofi's done to succeed since he's gotten here, but Honestly, did, did you expect him to be at this point playing no. 35 minutes a game and doing what he's doing? No. 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 I mean, I don't expect many freshmen to do that. I've been, I've been blessed. Very, very blessed. I've had Iowa Sumo and Kofi. I've been put in that situation, okay, a little bit out of necessity, but most importantly, I've capitalized on it. So, no, I don't. I don't expect, I don't ever expect that much from freshmen. That's a lot in this league. Jim in the back. Coach, uh, you say you never look at standings, but two games ago you're still in the title race. Uh, I know mentioned that you can go after a championship this week a little bit. Uh, the significance of that for you in the final two games? Yeah, we came here to win Big Ten championships. 
Uh, I, I don't know whether, whether I mean, it's the next game, yes. Uh, just keep winning and trying to stack them up. And, but we, we came here to win, win, win Big Ten Championship. We've talked a lot about that. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're not out of it yet. And uh, there's, uh, we're in the last week of the season. So I, I, feel, I feel great about that. And I, I, I'm so happy for our fans, um, which, by the way, tonight were incredible. Uh, it's probably as good as an environment as I've seen in my time here tonight in that in that stretch, and uh, I, I can't say we, we don't have the most passionate fans, but we got some of the smartest fans as well. And, and uh, but we're in the last week, and we're we're we're, we're still alive and kicking. Scott, I don't know if relax is the right word, but was Georgius maybe more settled to the, today? I think it was more confident. I think it was more confident. I think, you know, Georgie, Georgie's, um, I'm, I'm really proud of Georgie. I'll get emotional if I talk about Georgie, right? But he's, he's in a really good place right now. I mean, he's in a good place. And we, need, we just keep him there. Derek and Will. I've won a lot of these in these late game moments. It seems to be a confidence or an expectation <coughs> that you guys are going to come out on the right side. <coughs> What do you see in the huddles or in those those times out of your teams now that maybe wasn't there earlier this year or earlier in your tenure? Well, experience, I, you know, experience, confidence. Um, you know, it's it's nice when you've got guys, you know, ran 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 play to Dre, uh, you know, ran plays to Kofi. Kofi's like throw me the ball, I'm gonna at least get fouled, make the free throws. I was like throw me the ball, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get fouled, I'm gonna make the free throws. You got guys hungry for it. And uh, you know that's the that that's the main difference is they they want to be in those situations and they're confident in their end. Brad, Indiana has a, a lot of length on the wing and inside, and it, it seems like they gave you some problems, you know, finishing at the rim or getting clean looks from. Is, is that something that has? How how do you counteract that? I guess. Well, I was more bothered by the by the looks they got from three. I mean, you know, they're one of the poorer shooting teams. Uh, and, uh, you know, Jet had the scout, and, you know, he told him, he said, every time Green makes one, every single time, the next time he touches it, it's going up and, and he's been two feet behind him. I, I don't know. I, it hasn't bothered us much. I don't worry about that a whole lot. There are different ways to attack that, but, uh, uh, but they're good and they're, and, and they're extremely well coached. Brad, you mentioned you went to Kofi, obviously, down the stretch there. And outside of his sheer size, what gives you the confidence that he's going to make the right play and deliver? Well, I mean, you get him three feet from the rim. I mean, he's, there's, there's a lot of good things going to happen. And, and uh, uh, you know, it, it was his early deep post-ups. It was his ability to uh, just create just a little bit of an angle. Uh, he had a size advantage, not just in girth, but in, but in height as well. And, and uh, you know... Kofi, Kofi doesn't shy from those moments. I mean, he wants the ball. He knows he's going to get fouled. One more back in. Kofi credited his career high six blocks to uh, the work that you guys have been putting in. Fact, it's mentioned specifically work that he's done with you. How does it feel as his coach to see that hard work paying off? In game like well, it's it, you know, it's you want him to get to the to the level that you know he's capable of. So he's fun to work with because he he just he just keeps wanting more. You know, and and. Uh, uh, you know, you forget he's an 18-year-old kid. He's emotional sometimes, and and but his his physical tools just make it fun to work with every day. You know, and, and he's eager. So, you know, again, it was nice to see him uh, be dominant on that end. Well, a little. I have definitely developed uh, consistency as a closer in a closer role. Did you see him having that mentality and having that trait when you were recruiting him? Yeah. I mean, he, again, he's a winner. You know, he won a couple state titles in high school. He, was, he always had the ball in those moments. Always had the ball at the end of a quarter, end of a half. Uh, and, you know, and, and some guys have a knack for for it, and and he does. Uh, you know, and then obviously, you know, his confidence has grown in those situations because he did it three or four or five times last year for us. Anything else for coach? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.